It's been a while since I made a video about pre-construction on this channel and there is a reason for it. As you all may know, if not obvious, the high interest rate pretty much wiped out the pre-construction market where most builders don't want to build or can afford to lower the price point for most projects due to high borrowing costs and high government development charges. As a result, we have witnessed the historic lowest project launch in 2023. However, this time around, I would like to talk to you about this great opportunity in picker and i think it is much more worth it to talk about it let's roll with the intro Yes, this is Pickering City Center Condos, a master plan pre-construction condo that will be launching this fall on September 13th. And why I strongly recommend this project? First, let's talk about the location. Let's start by looking at the Durham region. For those that are not familiar, this is the map that shows all the area in Durham within the red dotted lines. Durham is basically the most easternly region of the GTA and it is the largest of the five regions. Please ignore the percentages, but I just wanted to show you all the five regions that form the GTA, which is starting with Houghton and Peel, York, Toronto, and Durham. To understand more about the location, we are focusing on Pickering, which is the city in Durham closest to Toronto and is just east of Scarborough. As a whole in Durham, you can see all the main city are closer to 401, such as Pickering, Ajax, Whitby, and Oshawa. The 55-acre master plan for Pickering City Center will be located at Pickering Town Center, the biggest shopping mall in Pickering. Similar to one metropolitan center, which is still developing, it was also a part of the Center Court master plan community that were so successful. Following the same success, Center Court went full gear and will be the only developer to be responsible for this transformation. 55 acre master plan. Let me get back to the developer later in this video, but let's continue to explore this location. So this is the Pickering City Center 55 acre master plan and we have actually the border from the east side we have Glen Anna Road. On the south side we have the highway 401 and on the west we have Liverpool Road and on the north Kingston Road and this is the Pickering City Center shopping center. Here is the Pickering City Hall so the site will be next to Glen Anna Road, the first block. I can show you from the Google Maps. Let's take a look with the aerial view. This is the Pickering Town Center shopping mall and here is the Pickering City Hall and the public library. So this is Glen Anna Road. The site will be here, the first block and uh, it will be consisting of four buildings and this is the old Sears building that will be demolished and built upon here. Another huge advantage of this master plan is that not only are you next to the Pickering Town Center shopping mall but it is also connected to Pickering Gold train station via the bridge. In under 40 minutes you can commute to downtown Toronto. There are only six stops from Pickering to Union Station. On top of the Gold train, the future Durham Scarborough bus rapid transit line BRT with Metrolinx will be implemented to connect people from Scarborough to Durham that go along Kingston Road. This BRT will be 36 kilometers long and start from Scarborough Town Center and go through Centennial College, the Scarborough U of T, Pickering, Ajax, Whitby, and Oshawa. This is expected to be about 38,000 daily riders. The buses will be running in dedicated lanes as frequent as every five minutes during the peak hours. This would definitely have a huge impact on connecting more people from Scarborough to Durham and supporting future population growth. Moreover, there are a mixture of large corporations in the community. Over 300,000 square feet of commercial space with RBC Wealth Management, the Impact Office, Ontario Power Generation, the BMO Wealth Management. Simply put, this increases the need for jobs in Pickering and contributes 
to the area's population growth. I almost forgot to mention the Pickering Town Center is an existing mall that has over 180 shops with plenty of options for retail shops, grocery store, banks, restaurants, food court, coffee shop, the cinema, and many other convenience services that are right at your doorstep. So this is Pickering City Center Condo Block 1. It is a four mixed-use residential towers within this block, over 2,000 suits, over 110,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor amenities, 18,000 square feet of retail at ground level, and this is coming on September 13. These are the amenities of Pickering City Center condos, including the outdoor and the indoor. Feel free to pause the video if you want to check out what is included in this condo. So here is the detailed look of block one with the four towers. And obviously here, the first tower, a PCC one, is a 45 stories with 500 suits. The second tower with 40 story, and then the third one with 50. And the last one is the tallest of all with 55 stories with 600 suits so all together is more than 2,000 suites as you recall this is the site and this is the Pickering Town Center Mall and here's the Pickering City Hall so here is the draft key plate or the general floor plans the green is the two bedrooms that is sitting along the corners so they are usually the bigger unit in green and then next we have the one plus stand unit next to the two bedrooms in burgundy and lastly we have the one bedroom room with less than 500 square feet that is generally closer to the elevators the taking space obviously and is in light blue now let's move on to Durham region the untapped potential and opportunity so here again in Durham they are the second fastest growing sub market in the GTA here is basically stating that Durham out of the five regions in the GTA they have the largest total land area at 35 percent here it's just stating from year 2016 to 2021 Durham is sitting at the second fastest growing submarket in the GTA at 7.9% and here you can see Helton in the first place at 8.8% and just to give you a comparison Toronto is only at 2.3 slowest out of the five regions and York is kind of closed at 5.7% key facts currently in the entire GTA we have a total of 480,000 completed condominium suites guess what out of the 480 18,000 completed units, only 7,013 are in Durham, which accounts for only 2%. It is that crazy. No wonder Durham lacks affordability housing where most home types are either detached or townhouses. There were no surprises. Most of the condo units were in Toronto at 74%, York second at 12%, and uh, Peel we have 9%, and finally Houghton at 4%. With Durham having the largest land area and the fewest condo units you know there are great opportunity here do you know that there are only 170,000 new condos launched between 2016 and 2023 in the GTA and only 6,765 were in Durham which accounts for only 4% compared to Toronto at 59% York at 15% Pill at 14% and Houghton at 8% and again Durham with the least inventory at only 4% definitely has a lack of inventory. The severe condo shortage in Durham is really apparent. Basically, this point here states that Durham needs much more condo units to keep up the demand and growth. Not all master plans are created equal. Most master plan communities have many advantages over individual or small boutique condos. Usually, they include some of those benefits such as retail convenience, active outdoor park spaces, hospitality and entertainment, healthcare, great public transportation, infrastructure, qualified employment opportunity, and municipal investment in public spaces and amenities. But the problem is that not all master plans cover all these. Here is the summary of the most recent master plan communities such as the VMC, Square One, Regent Park, Downtown Markham, Concord City Place. You can see some have check marks on some, but not all have check marks on all. Pickering City Center, in the other hand, has all the check marks in all the categories. This is one impressive master plan. That leads to one of the most important factors when it comes to buying a pre-construction, that is the builder. Although Center Court has been here for 13 years, they are one of the most active developers 
developers in the GTA. 20 towers sold, and more importantly, zero sites were cancelled with zero interim occupancy. For those who are not familiar with interim occupancy, it is basically the period when a purchaser can occupy the completed unit even while the rest of the building is still under construction. During the interim occupancy, the purchaser will be paying the monthly occupancy fee and a kind of rent to the builder while waiting for the building to get registered with the city. That means the owner can carry the mortgage until the final closing. And sometimes this interim occupancy can last few months up to a year or more depending on the developer. Center Core, as stated earlier, unlike most developers, all the projects have no interim occupancy, meaning that they hand you the unit on time and always fully sewn and city approved. When it comes to master plan community, Center Court is also no stranger, has 10 towers under construction, such as this here at Transit City 4 and 5, so they have a proven and consistent track record. Some projects such as the 199 Church, the 8 Wellesley Prime, the 252 Church were some of the projects that I also helped client purchase in the past. The other factor for this project in Pickering City Center is that Center Court is the only developer which is huge advantage for controlling the price strategy. To combat the high interest rate, Center Court was able to price below the market price of 1050 per square foot. As you can see, the two comparables, 1 and 2, with 1170 per square foot and 1185 per square foot are obviously higher than Pickering City Center. The main reason Center Court can price it so competitively is because they are the sole developer in this master plan, which they can make up in the next phases. So it is important to note that if you are the first investor in the first tower, you always have a big advantage. Last time I checked, most pre-construction projects were averaging about 1400 to 1600 per square foot in the GTA. And the most successful launch this year, I would say is Union City because their prices were one of the lowest as low as 1200 per square foot. And that sold out immediately to do the prices. At 1050 per square foot for Pickering City Center in such a master plan and with already existing infrastructure, I will assume this will go really fast. Do remember that most pre-construction is priced at least 10 to 15 percent higher than the resale market and Pickering City Center which is not only not higher than the resale market by 10 to 15 percent but remains level with the resale market. This could be the real deal of the year. Here are some of the comparable prices in the immediate area for one bed, one bed plus 10 unit and one bed plus 10 with two bath and two bedrooms compared to PCC. As you can see they are similar to the resale price if not lower. After viewing this overview of the project at Pickering City Center, I hope you have a better understanding. I just wanted to remind you that starting on September 13th, first platinum access to Pickering City Center Tower 1 will be accessible. To reserve your condo unit and receive your first platinum access to the floor plan and pricing list on September 13th, please call me at 416-836-8987 or send me an email at leeantonio at gmail.com. Because of the attractive prices, I have a sense that this this will sell out just like Union City which occurred a few months ago. If you like content like this for any new updates on the pre-construction, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss videos just like this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.